In this video, we will be printing this pattern from A to E with repeating each of the alphabet five times in each row. Okay, we will be using four or more ways to print the same pattern. We will be going from basic to advanced by reducing the number of lines of code and increasing the efficiency. So let's start from the most basic one. Let's call it method one. We will be using two loops one for the row and one for printing in the columns okay so start from a for loop for i in range let's just make two loops first we will put the values afterwards okay and here we are going to use a print statement the value of a i mean capital a in s key american standard code for information interchange is 65 okay so a starts from 65 capital a so we will be iterating the value of i from 65 to 70 where 70 is not included so it will go from 65 6 7 8 and 69 okay and in the inner loop we will be iterating the value of j from 1 to 5 that is 1 less than 6 so the inner loop will print the value of i five times okay by running the inner loop five times now in the print statement we will be converting the value of i that is iterating from 65 to 69 one less than 70 into the character so we will put i here type a comma then end equals in single quotes a space to separate the values of each column by a space if you don't want a space you can just do this without any space directly single quotes press enter go back to the indentation level of the first loop and type here print which will help us to print the characters into the next line okay here into the next row so if we execute this you can see that there is no space in between these characters as we didn't put space here if we putting space here you can see that we have a space in between all those characters so we are just converting the s key values of the alphabets into characters using this statement okay now in the method 2 we will be using one single loop so that we reduce these two loops and increase the efficiency okay so let's take a variable i from 0 and we will be using a while loop i is less than 5 from 0 to 4 that we have 5 values here and now in the print statement we will be converting the value of i into the character but we don't want to convert 0 into character because it will not give us the capital A to E so for that we will be adding 65 to it 65 plus I in the first iteration it will be 65 plus 0 which will give us 65 and then that 65 will be converted into character and it will be printed now increment the value of I by 1 and print it here you see it hasn't been printed five times so we just multiply it by five no spaces in between these we add a space here make sure you have these parentheses in the right place because we are multiplying this by five with the space included with this character conversion okay and now if we execute it we have the right pattern that we want so from two loops we have got into one single loop and now here we have four lines so we are going to reduce it by one more line and we will be printing it using just three lines we call it method three here we will use a string which contain all the alphabets from A to E 
and we will be using a for loop for that for i in s let's give it c so that you understand that c is a character in the string s okay so here we will be just using a print statement to print the alphabets in the string s type c space we adding a space in here and now multiply it by 5 so that we get it 5 times with the space added after each alphabet so that we have separate columns by the space in between them and if we execute this we have the required pattern now in the method 4 we are going to reduce the above chords into just two lines we will be printing this pattern by using just two lines by using a for loop f o r 4 i in range 5 let's say it 5 and the value of i will start from 0 to 1 less than 5 that is 4 0 1 2 3 4 we will be adding 65 to it like we did here right so what we are doing is just converting this while loop into the for loop use a print statement here convert this i plus 65 into character add a space multiplied by 5 make sure you have the parentheses in the right place the number of parentheses i mean and just execute it and here you can see that we have the required pattern all right so we have just printed the required pattern by using just two lines and a single loop from four lines and two loops so yes we are improving please subscribe to support pi pro tricks and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more